Hey folks and welcome back to Sevtech Ages. So I'm just here by the portal um, and we have a couple of things we need to tackle specifically. Did my research, we need to kill the Hydra and we need to kill the Ergast because if we look at the engine again, this requires fiery gears and you get fiery ingots from killing the Hydra and it requires a carbonite reactor which we get from um, the Ergast, or rather the tower. We don't actually have to kill the boss to get this, but we may as well while we're there. And as for Steel Leaf, um, I was getting Iron Root. Is that Iron Root? No. I'm saying that wrong. Excuse me. You're not meant to be functioning. I also have a torch launcher now. It's very strange. It doesn't replace grass by itself. Anyway, um, so at Twilight, there's two different kinds of ingots. I made the mistake of going after iron wood, there we go, um, which you can make and harvest, but then there's also steel leaf, which drops as a um, loot reward from chests in the dungeons. So we'll need to make sure we loot enough steel leaf. We need to tackle the Urgast Tower and we need to tackle the Hydra. To do that though means we have to do um, the the things previous to that. So in a Hydra Swamp we have to be a maze uh, to be able to get to the Hydra with no issues and to be able to get the Urgast somewhere down here <laughs> in here um, to be able to get to the Urgast we need to uh, defeat the Knights uh, or a knight. There's always four around each particular issue. So we're going to tackle the maze today though, uh, which is this away. All right, so here we have the entrance to a maze. I'm also being assaulted by chicken drops. <laughs> um, I did bring my scaffolds, but that's not what I intended to use to get down. Hmm. Should have thought this through. I did not. <laughs> All right, I've just stolen a whole bunch of dirt. Um, let's see if this is enough to get us down. It should be. It should be. All right. I heard the moo of a minotaur. There he is. I have this though. Excuse me, come back here. Oh yeah, that was satisfying. So that's a minotaur and they drop meef, which is man beef, for those asking. There are other enemies down here, like um, slime beetles and fire beetles and pinch beetles, which we will have to deal with, no doubt. I'm just going to steal these. Alright. I will take all of these. Free torches, yes please. Um, so I got the torch launcher. There's like a whole bunch of gadgetry and stuff we can get from Cyclic. Um, not all of it's unlocked just yet, but one of them is a torch launcher and allows us to place torches at a distance. Um, so I thought that was kind of fun to make before starting the episode. I heard you. Yeah, got some loot here. Our first bit of loot. Question for me is, oh hello. They have a charge attack, so got to be careful. Does this have anything that's going to set it off? Doesn't look like it. Some of these are trapped. So we've got our first two steel leaf, which is nice. Um, I'm going to actually take the paper as well. This paper's got a premium right now. All right. Yeah, you know what? Haha, <laughs> <laughs> get wrecked. I actually intended to hit the slime, but you got in the way, and therefore you get the killed. Another loot chest. Anyone 
one for anyone? No. Nope. This one trapped. Yes, it is. Hi, bud. No. This bow is ridiculous. I love it. Gonna... No. <laughs> Yeah, that was unintended. For some reason I, like, I haven't dealt with um, tripwires in this game in a long time, and for some reason I thought breaking it was gonna disable it, but that's literally how you set it off. <sighs> it's my excuse and I'm sticking with it. So somewhere in here is a minotaur spawner. There it is. And I am going to get this off my bar so I can grab that. Because we, of course, are going to collect these where we can. I'm going to pop you in here. Pop a torch on top of you. Or beside you. Whatever torch launcher. I'm just going to light up the area around it. And any future ones we see will destroy. Cool. We get loot from here too. Ironwood. Steel leaf legs. Steel leaf. Haze wafers. Gunpowder. And an unknown potion. Which I think that is the color of a health potion. So that would be nice. We're going to fill up on junk so quickly. We already have filled up on junk, by the way. So... Why don't we... Something along the lines of... This. Okay. That's all we're getting done. We'll keep the steel leaf, actually, and put the gunpowder in. I want to keep track of how much steel leaf I have. Denied. Do not get to run me over, sir. Where are you coming from? I might just be coming from the darkness. Oh, May Slime, hi. Cave Spider, no thank you. Do not want to deal with your poison today. Death. Death. Um. I'm kind of in sync with them. I was attacking underneath them rather than to them. I guess I saw those torches back there. I will be going back for them. And I hear the minotaur behind me as well. Stop. Hammer time. Give me all of these. Thank you. Torches are expensive to make right now. Or rather, no, they're not really that expensive. They take some fiber. Um, and otherwise they're the normal cost of torches, but you only get two of them instead of four. So I'll be taking torches where I can get them, basically, so that I can more readily spam them around the place. Dang it! <laughs> Got me. I was really hoping you wouldn't get me, but you did. I didn't stay poisoned for nearly as long as I thought I would, though. Now this is a maze, and I could be trying to solve the maze, but um, I'm just having fun wandering around, seeing what I can see. And the maze is pretty much the same as this on every level, except for the last. So what I might do is I might wander around now, explore the maze, try and get as much done as I can. These guys spit flame at you, by the way. Um, try and get what loot I can, try and do as much of the maze that I can 
and uh, come back for anything particularly interesting um, like trying to get the maze breaker which is a particular tool that you can find um, and also attempting to kill the boss of the maze I think those things would be fun okay bud okay bud all right well I found the way down to the next level oh, I see you over there torches you will be mine this bow is ridiculous <laughs> I am so glad we did the uh, ice queen first because it is just seriously ridiculous that sword that I have that I spent so long sharpening and making sure that it was the right size and stuff like that compares nothing to that bow almost feels like cheating but it's not <laughs> so yeah we're gonna continue down I can't remember whether the maze is three levels or two levels I still have not found a maze token a maze token is a item that will allow us to make a maze map um, which would be super nice to have but I don't think we're gonna be so lucky as to get one or at least not from level one we ain't but uh, if we get one from here I'll be super happy because if we get one from here and this happens to be the bottom floor then we'll know where a super secret item is called the maze breaker stop hammer time shouldn't waste bow durability on these guys you on the other hand oh hi friend need to find your spawner there it is found it now to murder you all ow that hurt and break in here all right i'm going to continue to do the thing that I've been doing. Actually, no, never mind. I thought this was the entrance to the uh, boss of the maze. It is not. So I found a maze map focus. That's super cool. Um. So I can do a couple of things here. By a couple of things, I mean, why did I take the bot, take the meef off? If we go back up to level one, I'll be able to get some wood, make a temporary crafting table, and then make a maze map. I think that will be worth it. Oh, I forgot to grab these. I think that will be very worth it. So let me get up there and make a maze map, and I'll be right back. Okay, I am back and I have my blank map. So, bam. Okay. Uh, I don't know whether it shows different levels, but um, if this is the lowest level, that's great. So it's gonna help us map out this maze and we will be able to find, okay, never looted that. I looted this one, right, because that's the one I got the map map focus from and then I got distracted <laughs> not picking up any more steel leaf leggings actually I am because they can be melted down we got another map focus so if there is another level it won't matter excuse me dang ass poison spiders oh hi bud not today evil movement so I think we are on the lowest level and what I mean by that is there is a boss room here and it's full of minotaurs and the boss 
So. Trying not to make the same mistake I did last time and swing exactly when they jump. Okay, yep. That's fun. Thank you, Poison Spider. You're always welcome. It's never welcome. It's never welcome. Alright, I have found the boss room. Got some stragglers on the outside here I want to deal with. There he is. Giant man mushroom centaur. Fortunately, he's trapped in there. No poison spider. Banned. Okay. So, we should be able to cheese this good and proper. Oh, okay. And that's that. <laughs> uh, can we get rid of fences for sure? Which gives us Meef Stroganoff. Oh, I see you in the corner of my eye. Hello. Band. Jerk. <laughs> um, uh, bag. Bag, do you, do you have things? And by things, I mean room to store things. So, sort of do. The meaf out of here and the gunpowder. Too much things. Get out of here, plant fiber. Uh, I think we're good for now. Right. I actually need a helmet. My helmet broke while I was on the way here. I want two stacks of maze wafers is enough for me, I reckon. And we don't need another maze map focus, to be honest, so I probably should stop picking them up. But we got plenty of loot. Booties! My boots are gonna break soon, so that's a nice sight. We could take this stuff and then melt it down. Um but uh I don't want to. Because <laughs> we've got plenty of steel leaf. we got 37. And I don't imagine we're going to be using steel leaf much past this stage of the game. So, uh, if I can avoid it, I am going to. But we are essentially done here, apart from a particular achievement. Which I would like to get, which was is going to require me to wander around this place a bit. Um, and it's clearly not anywhere near where we are right now, from what I can tell. But I will come back once I think I have found it. Alright, I think I've found it. You see that patch of grey down the bottom here? Um, it's not fully revealed, but I believe that's what we're looking for. Continue this way. Okay, so if I come through this wall here, which is going to take actually forever, um, we should be able to line ourselves up with the, the big grey block that I'm trying to get to. Alright, so big grey block. Uh, I think the way you're meant to do this is you come in through the top. Otherwise you have a heck of a time digging ahead of you. So, how do I want to do this is the question. Because what I could do is I could mark this on my atlas. Right, zoom right in, mark it on my atlas. 
uh, where I am standing right now and then just kind of vaguely guess on the next level up because I did check that this map doesn't work on the next level. Um, so let's try that. If we grab this, put it there. Zoom right the heck is in. My hidden compartment. Now I've got to remember it's to the right of that X. It's not actually that X. So now the name of the game is getting back to um, the level above us. So that we don't have to spend forever digging. Because I think the way this is set up is right in the middle of that patch is a hidden room. But if you dig in from the side, not only is it going to take you a really long time, it's going to give you the potential of blowing up the reward because it's trapped. But if you come in from the top, there's no trap to set off. And you can potentially get the... Um, the reward from that direction, from that direction. So, yeah, see it's, oh, okay, didn't think it would work out that way, but it does. <laughs> it's showing us the level we were on, so we don't need it actually, um, the, the atlas. We just need to find our way over to the grey blob, which is somewhere this way, nearly there, it's right through there. Excuse me, excuse me. Apparently I never came here on the level one. Where are we? Compared to it now. It's in there alright. I'm just like on the exact wrong side of level one. I'm hoping this comes back around and we can get over to it. Out of my way, creeper. Nearly. And like right here, right? Right here. Cool. No, nope, I've been thwarted. You do have to come in from the side. It's a bedrock floor here. Um, dang. Y'all saw that. I call shenanigans. I dug through that carefully and that that block. I, I very specifically was digging. What I would usually do if I'm digging a tunnel is dig the block in front of me and then the block below. But I was digging the block below and then the block above in order to stop that very problem from happening. And the block landed on the pressure plate anyway. <laughs> Now, I could have run backwards once I heard the hissing, but I was uh, trying to see if I could rescue the maze breaker before everything was ruined. Um, I have no idea where I'm going. I have legitimately no idea where I'm going. <laughs> oh, no. The other thing is that I need to get back to my stuff um, before it despawns because of that, that issue with the... Um, 
with the stuff from the between lands is still a problem. It's this way. Turns out. Turns out it's this way. Is it? Is it this way? I'll soon know because there will be a mutilated mountain in front of me. Or a mutilated, um... One of these. This is not the one that I went in, that is for sure. Where you be? This might be the swamp we came into, I just might be in the wrong part of it. Because I remember walking a lot further in order to get to the maze that I had picked. There are four of them around the, the swamp though. Is it you? It's not you. It's definitely not you. My one wasn't surrounded by cliffs. That's the fire swamp. That's where the hydra lives. By the way, that red swamp that you see. Uh, is this my one? I might be in the wrong swamp. I've only checked out three of them. Sure, it might be the last one, but... <laughs> There is a possibility that I'm in the wrong swamp. Oh, Twilight Forest, you have such effort doing your world gen, my friend. Oh, this is promising. This is very promising because there was already loaded bits and pieces on here. Is this my one? Are you my one? You are not my one. Dang it! I think I'm in the wrong swamp. This is... This is bad. And terrible. What I do know is from my portal... Which I have now lost. <laughs> uh, mine was like south. which I cannot figure out from F3 because those things are turned off. Thanks, Dark Coaster. Thank you. Thank you for that. That is an unfin unfinished dungeon, by the way. There's, in fact, nothing in it as far as I can tell. So, yeah, this is the Twilight Forest from above. Where the heck is am I? The more I do this, the more I'm going to get lost. I know that. What if I, um... Like magic map? Sure. Okay. Okay. We now know kind of where we're going. We go this way. And we'll get back to my stuff. So we must have been looking at that swamp. And not this swamp. And this is the swamp we want. We'll just drop that. Yeah, this looks like my maze because I took a chunk of wall out of it. Great. Uh, not a fan of losing my stuff. Never have been. I don't mind losing, but not my stuff. I hate the five minute timer. It gives me agita. To borrow a term. Hopefully this is under five minutes, this process. <laughs> I guess we'll find out. So we want to go this way. Yep. Nope. Wrong one. I vaguely remember where I'm going. Vaguely. Maybe it is this one. Yep. Yeah. 
Yes, I'm very disappointed about this. I tried so hard and got so far, but in the end, it didn't even matter. And I do, in fact, lose my lurker bag again. I'm going to stop using the lurker bag. It's too much trouble. Um, until that something gets sorted out with the whole grave situation. Because that's the thing I am I was sad about losing. Not this stuff. Not this stuff at all. It's the, um... I think we need some of this. Yeah, we do. For the Celestial Altar. Don't need that one. Don't need that one. Mosaic chiseled decorative and we have maystone and decorative so we need chiseled from somewhere which I think you're chiseled no wait what maystone mosaic decorative and chiseled yeah so we need some of this stuff how much of that stuff we need two so I'm gonna grab these two Unfortunately, that's what we were after. In that loot room was a thing called a maze breaker, which is a pick um, that works quite fast. Dang it. Works quite fast on maze stone, which, as you can see, takes forever, even with a decent pick right now. But the maze breaker would break this almost instantly. So, yeah, that's what we missed out on. That's actually what I wanted it for to make this easier, but oh well. I think to finish off this episode, I deserve a little bit of uh, satisfaction. So I am going to throw this maze map out because we don't need it anymore. Take a look at the atlas. We want to move into the swamp. I'm going to go that way. Yeah. Ow. <laughs> I think I picked up that maze map again. Yeah. There we go. Right, we're going to move to the middle of the swamp, and I'm going to kill a Hydra. Because if I can't kill a Hydra this episode, I'm going to be a very sad lady. And, um, that sadness will never be healed ever again. It's that simple. But here we are, at the edge of the fire swamp. Nice and red, to let you know it's on fire. It still has the shader. Yeah! What? Why? I have a mushroom trophy. What's your problem, game? What is your major malfunction? The meat and mushroom stew pleasantly warms you enough so that you have feel that you're acclimatized enough to vent- Oh, I have to eat it. I have to eat it. Fair enough. So now, I can go kill a Hydra. And there's the Hydra cave. Bum bum bum. So this Hydra is much like the uh, mythical Hydra of, of Greek mythology. Greek? One of them. And you have to kill all the heads in order to actually harm the thing. And this bow is bouncing off it, so... That's better. So once this head disappears, we'll have to attack the next head, and then the next head. Otherwise, the heads just keep coming back. Lies! Lies and slander! Maybe I need to use fire. I think the myth has uh, fire to deal with the Hydra. Maybe this Hydra just gets more and more heads until you've beaten it. Who knows? I seem to remember it being more complicated than that, but... <laughs> die, Hydra, die. Done it. So now we should have our fiery ingots.
or we can make fire ingots anyway. Uh, we need to throw something else out. We're going to throw the torch launcher out. And the reason being is I realized I misunderstood the torch launcher. You don't need to, um, to have torches for the torch launcher. It has durability. And that durability is how many torches it has. As you can see, the Hydra's cave is a bit of a hollow hill. I was uh, under the impression there might have been loot in here, but maybe it can generate, but doesn't always generate. Oh well. Um. Anyway, we have our Hydra trophy. There's something I wanted to do. It was this. Fiery blood. So if we use fiery blood, we should be able to make fiery ingot. So we need iron and fiery blood, and with fiery ingot we can make a fiery gear somehow. Fiery plate. Smelting. Uses for that. Fiery gear. Somewhere in here is a fiery gear. There it is. So that's four ingots. We'd certainly have enough. Actually, we don't. Four, eight. We need 16. How much do we have? 19. Okay, we do have enough. Barely. We barely have enough. But that's good. We're done here. Um, next episode, we'll be tackling the uh, the Goblin Knights so that we can tackle the Urgast Tower. That might be a longer situation, though, than this episode has been. Um... The nights might take a while, and then on top of that, we have would have to climb the Urgast Tower, which takes quite a long time. So we might dedicate two episodes to that particular venture. But anyway, guys, thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye!